Welcome to All Star Weekend. Welcome to All Star Weekend. Yo, this video feeling to be long, 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 long. As long as this editing was, this video gonna be. Cause this editing was forever. This recording was forever. Mad gigabytes. But yo, I'm about to show you the entire All Star Weekend. That means the Rise of Star game, the dunk contest, the three point contest, and the All Star game itself in one video so yo grab your strap no sorry sorry didn't mean to say that <laughs> grab your juice and some food sit back relax and enjoy yourself so yo i have I, yo the phoenix sun was well represented in all-star weekend all right i think we have four people players in the elite versus stars games man we had kelly Oubre jr devin booker marquez chris and Dragon Bender all all on the same team too. I believe we were on the stars, not the elites. So right there, ooh, a nice little tip in alley oop from Kelly Oubre Jr. Right on cue for one of our players to have a nice highlight play. It eggs. So uh yeah, this is the elite versus stars. I ain't gonna show like no intense moments of like how the game played out. I'm just showing highlights, you know. There's a nice dunk from Marquez Chris. He out here. We out here. We out here well represented. It's pretty cool to see our players make these type of games, man. In a whole new environment. There goes Markel's Chris. He hitting buzzer beaters. He out here showing like, yo, I deserve to be here. These are the first quarter highlights. They didn't show nothing but Markel's Chris highlights. The whole thing. And then the tip off. And then a shot from somebody else. That was all they showed. I don't know what was that all about. Number 11 goes for a shot. He makes it. I think that's Yogi Ferrell. I could be wrong. He is about to go for another shot. He thought he was nice. But Buddy Hill blocked him this time. D'Angelo Razzo. Ooh, doesn't matter where Dragon Bender is. Give him the pick and roll. And he will make it happen. Giddings. Ooh, he just got dunked on though. I think that was by Miles Turner. D'Angelo Russell running the ball up the court. He passes it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill for three. He misses it. But rebound by Chris. Chris passes Bender Bender to... To uh, buddy, buddy to D'Angelo who hits the th 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 three pointer. But Miles Turner comes right back and hits a two for himself. Dragon Bender has the ball. He gets fouled. Uh oh. This can only mean one thing. Okay, he missed the first week though. But this can only mean that he made the green light. And that's the first green light of all Star Weekend. And Brandon Ingram tears down the rim. That nice flush. And he. Ooh! Emmanuel Moutier answers right back with an even nastier flush. Brandon Ingram gets the steal, passes it off to Russell, Russell goes in, hard contested layup, passes it out to Devin Booker, Devin Booker misses the three, and a lot went on there, out of bounds, uh oh, turnover, turnover by the uh, the elites, the stars has the ball, Kelly Oubre goes, oh he, tur uh, he turns it, oh he gets it back, but he gets fouled, and Jorkage is just upset, this is the rising star game bro, you're supposed to have fun, celebrate your... Your rookie sophomore season, you're upset. Like, bro, calm down. But Porzingis makes a shot. Joel Embiid alley oop from Devin Booker. Beautiful. Beautifulness. That was just that was just a beautiful alley oop. You must admit it yourself, bro. I gotta blow my nose, but I won't, as usual. I don't know why I always wake up. I have to blow my nose like a million times just to, you know, sound better. But now we about to show these first half highlights because that's the end of the second quarter. Let's look at these halftime highlights, man. This, these highlights are much better than the one that they showed in that little preview before the second quarter. I will admit that. Oh, that was Ben Simmons who made that other that other um, layup. So it's just second quarter highlight. I'll be right back. Hold on. I got to blow it. Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid are doing work. This is a Philly connection here in this game. But did you miss me? Cause I didn't miss you. But I'm here showing you how these clips do. Whips moves. Dribble moves. D'Angelo putting the angle break on Emmanuel Moutier. Oh, and he takes it all the way to the rim. That was nasty. That was a rising star type game. Highlight right there. Then a block. Norkage, you're having a really bad night. Oh, and B gonna take it all the way from flushing home right on Norkage. He gonna dunk on his hand. 
he put his hand in here. Not his whole body got postered, but his, his hand got postered. Oh, still from Larry Nance Jr. What's he gonna do? Is Larry Nance gonna pull up? Nope, he's gonna get wide open. That was a. I don't know what happened there. Uh oh. Randy Ingram almost with the steal. And then I think this, that's Farrell. Yeah, Yogi Farrell. He's gonna step back. Dragon Bender to Buddy Hill for a nice little layup. And we tied the game 35 35. I didn't even know we lost the lead. And Dragon Bender running the floor gets a nice little highlight dunk for himself once again. And speaking of highlight dunks and running the floor, Isaiah Whitehead gets the same thing out of a out of bound play. And that was pretty neat. That was a three from TJ McConnell, I think. Philly is also well represented in this game. Porzingis tried to put the moves on the other team at the end of the third quarter to try to hit a buzzer beater, but no, no we didn't make it, but it's all good. We're up 39-38 to start the fourth quarter. Devin Booker passes off Porzingis. He didn't make the first shot of the third, but he made the first shot of the fourth. I mean, the last shot of the third, but the first shot of the fourth. Carl Anthony Towns, he finally made a shot. Nice step back from D'Angelo Russell. He misses a dough, but Joel B gets the rebound and the put back in. We are up 40 to 43. We're up three. Now we're up one due to that shot. Actually, we're down two. At, but D'Angelo, bam, bam, boom, with that nice little layup right there. Ties up the game at 45. D'Angelo passes to court. Porzingis. Porzingis puts the move on Carl Anthony Towns and it flushes it home. And we now take the lead. Look at that. Bam. He's like, I should have been rookie of the year that year, fool. Uh-oh, Ben Simmons leaves Kelly Oubre in his dust. Makes a nice little layup right there, showing why he's potentially going to be a very, very, very great player, but his own teammate, Joel Embiid, was like, pump the brakes, pump the brakes. It's funny how all, all my players are on the same team, but all the Philly players are, like, split up. Ooh, that's a nice little and one from Devin Booker. Because McConnell and... um. Simmons is on the other team, but Joel Embiid's on my team. But Brandon Ingram gets the steal. Bam. We actually put Brandon Ingram in instead of Kelly Oubre to end the game. And I think it worked out great, even though Ben Simmons just destroyed Brandon Ingram in that possession. But poor Zingus. Caught us right back in there with that three-point play. Now we have five. But once again, Ingram just blows. I mean, Simmons just blows by Ingram. Gets the nice little shot. But Ingram gets fouled this time. And he hits the green light. And he misses the second one. No, we're up four. Oh my gosh. Emmanuel Moutier misses that three. That could have been dangerous three. Yogi misses his three. That's the end of regulation. It has the stars. My team defeats the elites. And I'm glad all my players was on the same team. So I didn't have to have I didn't have to have conflicts on which team to pick because they were all together. We're all one together. Joel Embiid, 11.6 rebounds, two steals. Player of the game. I personally thought Kristaps Porzingis should have won player of the game, but I digress. Because Joel Embiid also played a very great game. I think I need to blow my nose again, but I don't have any more tissues in here. So I'm going to have to ride off the next 20 minutes. <laughs> With this uh, stuffy nose. But yeah, look at Joel Embiid. Now we're going to move on to the full lock of three-point contest. Look, I don't have a dog in this fight. None of my players are in this game. So we can rush on through this. I'm obviously rooting for Damian Lillard. Then Kawhi Leonard. Then Isaiah Thomas. Then JJ Reddick, then James Harden or Kevin Durant. I don't care for either. So yeah, we're gonna show Kawhi went first. Then after him was James Harden. So yeah, look at these highlights, man. They're just they're just shooting threes. James finished before him. He had 16 points. Kawhi's still going. He took a little bit longer than James did. Right now he has 13. He has 15. He finishes with 17. He had more points than James. So right now Kawhi's in the lead. We're gonna move on to Damian Lillard and Kevin Durant. Dame went third. Kevin went fourth. And you can see right here, Kevin Durant is moving faster than Damian Lillard in this contest. But uh, Damian is right behind him. He's keeping up keeping up the pace. But uh, Damian finished with 16 and Durant finished with 15. I don't know if you saw the 15. Yep. Okay. There it is. 16 from Dame. So Damian, I think, uh, yeah, that's one, two, three. Durant's officially out. Isaiah Thomas and JJ Redick now. Isaiah went, what, fifth? JJ went sixth. And here they go. Right now, they're both looking at like they're at the same pace. Nope, Isaiah is actually a lot faster than um, JJ Redick at this point. Have you noticed that the three-point contest and the dunk contest will also be in Toronto, but the All-Star game and the Rising Star game is in New Orleans? That just proves that 2K doesn't care at all about All-Star Weekend because they made such a big mistake. That's 14 from Isaiah Thomas. He's out. JJ's still going, but JJ got 18, and he advances to the 
finals because he has the most points. And we have two guys that with a tie at 16. Kawhi Leonard and JJ Redick are in. But will it be James Harden or Damian Lillard? They have to face off in a tiebreaker round. So they both have 30 seconds to make as much as they can. And uh, they're both... Okay, this time Damian's actually moving faster than James. That's interesting. Oh, that guy just messed up James. Oh, Dame's already on the third rack. Even though he only has 30 seconds. Okay, so they finish around the same time. But James Harden only finished with four. But Damian Lillard finished with seven. So Damian Lillard moves on to the finals. But no rest for the rear because he has to go right back at it. And I know he's probably tired because he got two, four, six. This is the beginning of the, the, um, the finals, obviously. Right now, he only has eight. And I think at one point, he missed 12 in a row. And he only finished with 10 points. Next up is the Spurs. Lead leader in points right now. Points per game. He has actually passed Zach Levine in points per game. That's Kawhi Leonard. Averaging 32 while Zach is now only averaging 31. Kawhi has been scoring his butt off lately, obviously. And he's going to try to bring that all the way to the three-point contest. He's already eliminated Damian Lillard. He has 11. He has 12 now. He has 13. Putting the pressure on JJ Redick. What a great couple of racks he's having. 15, 17, 19, 21, 23 from Kawhi Leonard. Nearly flawless in the money ball rack. Jeesh. And here comes JJ Redick. Let's see what he can do. See if he can make up some points because he's going to have to get at least 24 to win. He had 18 in the first. So he won the first round, but can he win the second round? Which would make him be the three point contest winner. Right now, he only has nine, so it ain't looking too good. What he has 12 now. If he gets all these money balls, he's good. Oh, he made the first one. He made the second one. He made the third one. Ah, uh, he couldn't make any more, though. He might have won if he made those money balls. So 23 from Kawhi. JJ had 18 in both rounds. Damien had 10. And our three point contest winner is Kawhi Leonard, who adds to his super impressive near. Um, almost a locked at Hall of Fame career. I do believe Kawhi will win MVP in real life this season. That's coming up. I just have a feeling it's going to happen. And he's going to get a 2K cover. 2K19 probably. Like Kawhi is about to be the biggest star in the league. But we move on to the dunk contest. Where I have two dogs in this fight. I got Marquez Chris and Zach Levine. As they take on Aaron Gordon and Glenn Robinson. The dunk contest sucks in this game. And I'm going to tell you why. Not the way that you could do the moves, but the scoring is so flawed. It's so flawed. So, here's Aaron Gordon's first dunk. He leaps over four people. I believe... I believe Chris Bosh is one of them. <laughs> Not sure who the other Phoenix Sun played. Maybe Justin Holly. He had a 43 on that. So, Zach Levine, right? So, look at this beautiful dunk I'm about to do. That's a, that's, that's a 50 in real life. I don't know what the, what the highest score you can get on this thing. This is so stupid and flawed. But that's a 50. That's a 50. That's a beautiful dunk right there. But what did they give Zach? A 29 on that dunk. When I saw that, I really didn't care what happened at this point. Look at that dunk. Put it between the leg and it slammed it reversed real hard. GR3. Because the game caters to the CPO. The CPU always gets the higher grade, and we always get the low grade. That's what I've discovered. He had a 40 on that. You gonna tell me my dunk wasn't better? So here goes Marquez Chris. X to the X. Okay, super basic dunk. All right, super basic dunk. But that's just to get your feet wet in the, in the dunk contest, right? They always say that safety dunk first. <laughs> so Marquez Chris, he's a big dude, so he went safety first, right? And homeboy got a 14. Actually, the dunk contest is in New Orleans. The three-point contest is the only contest in Toronto for some reason. So I apologize. The dunk contest is here. So for some reason, they don't care about the three-point contest. I guess they do care about the dunk contest. <laughs> but that was a, this was a nice dunk by Aaron Gordon. Like, I would have gave that a 50. I would have gave that a high, a high mark. Uh, I, I cut it off so quick, I don't even know what they gave him. But here's uh, Zach Levine. Now I'm about to do another sick dunk. Oh, my God. It's a nearly... 360 between the neck, between the between the legs dunk. Put it behind him. It's like that's a that's a 50. It's actually have a hundred right now. That's back to back 50s from Zach Levine. They gave me a 40. I should have a hundred right now. Like this thing is so trash. 
This was also another 50. This was sick. That was a nice dunk. I was like, oh, snap when I saw that. I was like, oh, snap when I saw that. So, no matter what they gave this dunk, I don't mind. Because that was... That was a sick dunk by Glenn Robinson. No, so you wait. One more time. His hand is in the ring. He catches it, cuffs it, and throws it back down. He dunked it twice. That should count as two dunk attempts. He should not get a third dunk. <laughs> 2K loved it so much they put a bunch of replays of it. I went too fast and couldn't see the, the score, but I'm sure it was like a 47. So right now I'm trying to risk it all with this cartwheel, but I missed. That would have been a 50. But apparently I was like, maybe if I do the super 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 hard dunks, I'll get a higher score. But uh I don't know man. I really don't. Here comes Aaron Gordon. Ooh, I think he did that dunk in real life. That was the dunk he did with the mascot. I think Zach just did it straight up though. So yeah, that's like a regular, you know, they give that a 50, he put his hand behind his head when he did that dunk too. Yeah, that's a 50. That's a nice dunk. That was a 50 in real life. Don't know what they gave. It looked like they gave him a 40 something. So now, here's Zach Levine. I told you I was trying to go for it all. Went on the super, the black level hard of difficulty. So I'm trying to do the free throw line. That's Zach Levine's signature and I missed it, of course. The, the, the square, I didn't expect it to be so far off. I mean the X. Whatever. That, that wasn't going to make me win anyway because they've been robbing me all the time anyway. He did the same exact dunk he did in his first dunk. That was his first dunk from the other side. But 2K, not smart enough to realize that. And guess what? He's going to get another extremely high score from doing the exact same dunk again. 48, bro. He almost got 50 from doing the exact same thing. So, Chris, you need to do something to, to close it down. And he did. He flushed it down with a nice dunk to end the game. End the dunk contest. Because his first dunk was was in all that. His second dunk he missed. So he put on a show to end the night at least. So what he get? He got a 37 on a 50 dunk. So you look at that. 69 and 50 is what I got from these dunk contests. While they are well in the 30s. Glenn Robinson the third actually won when it should have been Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon can't catch a break when it comes to dunk contests. Because he can't seem to win one. Glenn Robinson won the one in 2017. The real life one. So that's good. Now we're going to move on to the main event. The all-star game. But. I'm going to let y'all watch this by yourself for a few seconds while I get a little drink. I'm thirsty. I've been talking for 17 minutes straight. Well, the Phoenix Suns are well represented. We have four all-stars in this game, bro. None of them which are starters. Why am I still showing this? That was there for too long. <laughs> so we're going to move on. Tip off. Y'all already know who my all-star starters are. I mean, not starters, but all-star players are. We have Zach Levine, Chris Bosh, Roy Hibbert, and the biggest surprise of them all, Kelly Oubre Jr. made the all-star game. That's right. He participated in two events this weekend, as did Zach Levine, Kelly Oubre, is a two year second year all star. Zach Levine is a third year all star. And Bosch and Hibbert returns to the all star game. Kawhi Leonard starts off the game with five points. He hit a three, showing why he's a three point contest winner. Then he hit a nice little layup. John Walls is putting the moves on James Harden. Woo! He put the moves on James Harden. So we up, I mean, we tied 5 5. John Walls not done though. He's like, I'm in the all star game for a real reason. So we have the ball. Zach passes to McCullough. This is the all Phoenix lineup with CJ McCullough. So CJ McCullough, you see what he'd like to be on this team? You know, he'd be the shoot, start and shoot guard. Nah, we good with nah, Nick Young, boy. But Roy Hibbert made a shot. I'm only showing the highlights again, like I said. But, um, but, um, whatchamacallit. Every, I try to make every player on this team score at least two points. And I was successful at that. But it did hurt me because look at the score because I was trying to make everybody score. But that was a nice three to end the quarter. I think that was Zach Levine. Or was that Damian Lillard? I don't remember. I think it was Damian Lillard. To end the three. To end the end the quarter. We down 14-19. If it wasn't obvious to you, I am obviously the Western Conference All-Stars. Kevin Durant has the ball. He passes off to CJ McCullum. CJ McCullum gets an and one for his efforts. As he goes to the line. DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan showed that he is an elite player in this game. 
22 17 i guess he wants to make up for his bad performance on my last video actually when i played toronto and he wants to show that to my uh 165 subscribers that um he actually is a great player he wants to re-show himself <laughs> to re-show himself reprove himself on my channel nice alley hoop but he didn't go for it so i don't know what's up with anthony david but in the end he actually got a dunk to end off the highlight so you know what's crazy new york knicks is the first seed in the east that's fine they got two all-stars out of that carmelo anthony and derrick rose uh oh another alley -oop, but now he wants to take the dunk but he doesn't so i don't know what's going on anthony davis but memphis grizzlies is, is the first seed in the west and they have zero all-stars Mike Conley gets no respect. Mark Gasol, what happened? Zach Randolph, <laughs> what's up with that? So Zach Levine, Zach Levine struggled. I don't know if he was starstruck, but he didn't play like himself. He just seemed like, seemed like another all-star out there. I wanted him to dominate this game, but he didn't. Show that he is a star among stars. But Kelly Oubre, he's trying to put that lockdown defense on Paul George, and he forces Paul to pass it. And... Nikolai Vorkic, even with a near turnover, hits the buzzer beat and layup. I don't know why they're replay reviewing it. It was obviously good. Obviously out of his hands. And we go into halftime down eight and not six. Look at Jeff Hornstack. <laughs> Wayman Tisdale. So these are the first half highlights of this NBA 2017 All-Star game. The second to last video I'm going to post in this series has NBA 2K18 drops Friday, four days early, but I got work so I won't post any videos until maybe Saturday. Hopefully I can post a video on Saturday, but I won't post any 2K or NBA Live videos on Friday because I'll be home too late and I'll just be playing the games. <laughs> so yeah, there's a dunk. I think that was Andre Drummond. So the first half is is role is um ruled by the D's Damian Lillard and Mar DeRozan, they're the featured players right now. So will one of them win All Star Game MVP? Russie Love, Russ Book, Russ Book, Russie. Oh my God, his name is so hard. Russell Westbrook starts off the half with a missed shot, and I believe that is Andre Drummond starts off the half with a made shot. James Harden he finally gets a bucket. James Harden, yo, he was whack in this game, yo. Like, he couldn't make a shot. There's a nice steal, actually, from James Harden, recovered by Kawhi Leonard. Uh, James passes it back to Kawhi. Kawhi calls for a uh, pick from Kevin Durant. He passes it back to, to Kevin. Kevin passes it to James, and James, of course, misses. Rebound by Carmelo Anthony. Okay, so we get the green light from Kawhi Leonard. Wow, Leonard, man, you, you like how you liking that uh, green light system? But here comes Damian Leonard with the lit layup. <laughs> We're near the end of this video, man. We're almost there, man. Let's get it. endurance, baby. All Star Weekend is lit, and that was a lit crossover move, break of ankles by Russell Westbrook. But John Wall tried to answer back with three of his own. He couldn't capitalize. Anthony Davis has the ball. He's running up the court with it. He pulls up for three. He misses. Rebound by Kawhi Leonard who flushes it home. He flushed it home with a nice dunk. It's heard. Oh, John Wall. He blows by Damian Lillard. But he doesn't go for a dunk. He just goes for a layup. 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 We're down five. We are down five. Oh my gosh, an impossible shot by Paul George. We are now down seven. He only made that because he's on the cover. And cover boys get a lot of little um, leeways and privileges. But did you see my boy Big Roy run down the court and get that dunk for himself? Big Roy did that sh represent Phoenix, boy. So we still out here. They went on a 10-2 run, boy. So we struggling trying to get a basket. But uh, Damian Lillard worked real hard. For that basket, we are we down 50 uh, 45 52. They got the ball. Uh, Paul George trying to beat the buzzer. I believe that was Paul George, but he don't. So we about to go into the fourth quarter down 45 52. But we still know what it do to make it do what it do to make it is what it is to show you how I do it. I don't know what I just said. Zach Levine, will he start off the fourth with a bucket? Yes, he will. 
50, 50 to 54 at this point right now. Ooh, ooh, we have a block party? Kevin Oubre running the court. Break start, break starter. Zach Levine, why did you run to the corner and not run behind me? We were both wide open. I could have been alley hoop straight to you. So dumb. So dumb. Zach actually did that a few times in this game. I was trying to get him some highlight alley hoops, and he just kept going to the three-point line. And there goes LeBron James. I didn't even know you made this game, man. You've been real quiet. Same with Adi Kumbo and Carmelo. Like, these dudes, they all made it, but they made a quiet game. Speaking of the devil, it's Carmelo Anthony, who it's a potential and one but no dice he misses the and one here comes Damian Lillard Damian Lillard is now playing with the well he's not now playing because Kevin Durant was still in I think now he's playing with the Phoenix Sun lineup and Damian Lillard gets that green light oh there was a lot of turnovers right there but in the end we still did recover the ball there's Chris Bosh he passes I'll see there again Zach went to the three-point line instead of it's going through the lanes again a nice little easy alley oop dunk highlight dunk but yeah look at Damian Lillard playing with my Phoenix Suns imagine putting Damian Lillard at the point guard Zach Levine pushed up to the shooting guard Ooh, wait our team would be unstoppable that's our starting lineup right there but now we still love Nick Young at two guard but think about it Roy Hibbert at center power forward Chris Bosh small forward Kelly Oubre Jr. shooting guard Zach Levine oh caught them slipping it's Russell Westbrook with a first slam and then the point guard did the Damian Lillard. That would have been a sick lineup. So right now, oh, we take the lead off of Kevin Durant's big time dunk. We are now up one, I believe. And a pass from could have been either Russell or Damian because they both number zero. Oh, Damian with a nice little three pointer right there. And the Memphis coach with no All Stars is hyped. We're down. We're up two right now. And uh, we need to finish this game. But uh, I did a combo ties it up. Nope, that's not out of the cool. That's DeMar DeRozan. Told you he's a monster in this game. Right here, I wish I didn't take that shot. I wish I would have got a better look. I didn't realize how low the time was, man. But uh, we're still up two. But we could be up. We could be up two possessions if that three had went in. And this was just a breakdown of breakdowns. Damian Lillard caught sleeping on John Wall. I dared him to shoot it, and he made it. All we needed was no threes. We didn't tie it, but they hit a three. Boy, they hit a three. We down 11. I mean, sorry. We down one with 11 seconds. And it's like every time there's a must-need game winner, they force plays on us, and it just ruins everything I'm trying to do. And I couldn't get a good shot off. But, yes, I did get a good shot off. How did Russell Westbrook miss a layup, bro? I can't believe it. But, yo, the Eastern Conference takes it. They win the All-Star game. We lost by one point on some foolishness. Russell Westbrook should have made that that layup. So, yeah. All-Star game MVP was or is. The no, 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 suspense is killing me. DeMar DeRozan, 18 points, one rebound, three assists. He showed that he's the stars among stars on this All-Star game. Ah, we are done. Thank you for watching this video. If you watched it all the way through, I appreciate you more than anybody else. Yes, so this is it, man. The second to last video of this series. I will be ending the series in the next video. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. Here's a little highlights. And guess what? I'm at one.